Now let's get into some more exponential equations that don't necessarily follow the traditional one-to-one -one or inverse properties. If I look at number 36 here, first, I can't use one-to-one -one because these bases are not the same. I also can't use the inverse property because log base 2 will not cancel out E. So in this instance, what I can do is focus on trying to do something where we can bring down those exponents. And what I can to, to do to both sides is take ln of both sides. Now ln of E does cancel. And then I can use properties of logarithms to bring this exponent down. So I have x plus 1 times ln 2 equals 1 minus x. Now I need to get all of my x's on one side. The first thing I'll do is distribute this ln 2. x ln 2 plus ln 2 equals 1 minus x. Now anything with x I'm going to move to the left and anything without x I'm going to move to the right. So that'll make me have x ln 2 plus x equals 1 minus ln of 2. Now what I could do on the left side since I'm solving for x I see that there is a GCF of x on that left side. So I have x times ln 2 plus 1 equals 1 minus ln 2. Let me bring this up and rewrite it. So x times the quantity ln 2 plus 1 equals 1 minus ln of 2. Now to get x by itself I can divide both sides by this quantity. So now I have x equals 1 minus ln 2 over ln 2 minus 1. And I can get my decimal approximation. Oops, I'm sorry, ln 2 plus 1. So now I can get my decimal approximation in my calculator 0 0.181. So in this problem, we took natural log of both sides so that that way we could bring down our exponents and isolate x.